Close your eyes and imagine. A country with a population of 9.5 million and more than 200 nationalities. One of empathy, curiosity, and celebrating our differences and seeing what life is like on the other side. Some may call it a dreamland. Others call it the impossible. We call it the United Arab Emirates. As a dancer, there are lots of struggles that we go through. Um, a lot of it is the obvious one, which is physical struggle. So it's very tiring on your body. We rehearse sometimes for six, seven, eight hours at one go for one show. So it can get very, very heavy on your body. We constantly have injuries that you have to manage. So yes, it's a physical struggle, hands down. But not just that, there is a mental struggle as well. What's dance to me? That's a funny question because I don't really know how to answer it. All I know is that dance is an expression of who I am. It is who I am. Dance is my passion. Dance allows me to, to show my soul. It allows me to express freely. It's things that I can't put in words. It's feelings, it's emotions that no word can ever describe, but movement can. So definitely passion is probably the one attribute to, to the word dance, that I'm, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love it with all my heart. I saw you bad. Ever since I moved to the UAE 13 years ago, there has been so many opportunities that have come my way. Um, so many doors have opened for me. And not just me, for tons of artists out there, tons of musicians, dancers, writers, people that have a passion in artistry. I came here and my dance life launched tremendously and I saw things that I never thought I would be able to do, whether it was training the way I trained, whether it was starting to teach classes, whether it was performing for the biggest artists and the biggest shows and the biggest national days in the UAE. Yeah, it pretty much launched a whole new era and milestone in my dance career. Another huge struggle that dancers suffer from is the fact that they don't believe in themselves. And sometimes it takes a mentor or a teacher or a husband or a sister to revive that within you and to show that they believe in you probably more than you believe in yourself. And a lot of dancers end up losing their career in dance just because of that. And I witnessed it firsthand that the fact that people believe in you, friends support you, family support you, and you ultimately end up believing in yourself can drive your career in dance to the next level. As I grew up, I started educating myself a little bit more about the different genres of dance and what else is available. So I started taking jazz, I started taking modern, I did a bit of contemporary, and then I moved into commercial and hip hop and the things that we see on television with Beyonce. Um, today, I cannot put my finger on one genre of dance because I love them all and I would never go back and do it any different. I love the fact that I 
tried everything and I saw what I loved and what I was good at and what I needed to work on to be better at. And the things that I didn't like, I let go of. But today I'm a versatile dancer because I pretty much, I took a plunge into all the different styles and I tried them all and I excelled as much as I can in all of them. Dance is not just a hobby or a part-time job. I make a living out of dancing. And today I don't feel that dance is my job because I love what I do. It's just a way of living. And it, it, it can't get any better that I'm actually making an earning out of something that I love to do day in, day out. My name is Rhea Harmouche. I'm originally from Lebanon. I am a dancer, choreographer, and creative director. And this is the other side of my life. <laughs>